Okay, friends, so, hold on, coffee. Mm -hmm. This could be the large family meals of the week where I fail you. That could even be our video title. Somebody write that down for me. It's evening now. I feel like everything's a mess. I got trash coming out of the trash can. Got two freezer meals. Those are low carb pizza casseroles. Need to get those in the oven. Thought I would do that a while ago. Probably have 10 pounds of sweet potatoes. I was gonna put the slow cookers for lunch. <laughs> Pile of papers here. Just a lot going on right now. The kids finished up school, but I've been, this is, this is where I get kind of like, where am I? What universe am I in? I have been sitting at the table with them when I was getting some laptop work done later this afternoon and helping them with different things that they would come to me with. So now I just stood up for the first time in a little bit and I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Where was I? Domestic stuff needs done. Uh, and Travis just went and picked up some things we needed like bananas. <laughs> uh, so we gotta bring that in too. And I've got a box, uh -huh, a box of cow bones on my floor. So we ordered half a cow. That came in yesterday, got that all put away. And I realized I did not check the box to get the bone. And the bones are nice for doing like homemade bone broth in the Instant Pot or stove top, whatever way, any way I wanna do it. So I messaged my farmer friend, and even though I forgot to check the box for the butcher that I wanted the bones, they had an extra box in their farm shop, and Travis also picked that up for me today too. Yay, but I'll show you the bones and we'll get them put away. Okay, gotta pull stuff together now. Alrighty, so here's the low carb pizza casserole that we are doing for dinner tonight. Whenever I did this freezer meal a few weeks ago, I didn't have any pepperoni, so I'm gonna throw those on there real quick, and we will get these in the oven, yay! Alrighty, so here's the box of the beef bones that Travis picked up for me this afternoon. So I'll cut them open. I just went to one of my front porch freezers for right now. You, if you know, you know, right? And uh, I have two places there in the door of one of them where I can probably fit most of these. So I'll show them to you and I'll take you outside and show you where I'm going to put them. By the way, I don't think I said this yet. Welcome to another Large for the Meals of the Week video where I'm going to show you whole lot of food stuff, whole lot of things that I'm feeding my family of 11 and uh, sometimes up to 13 depending on who is at the house. Okay, all kinds of good bones going on. So that's what she had told me. She had two 15 pound boxes, but they're bags and it was in one box. So I was confusing myself. So last time when we got a full cow a couple years ago, I think I think a lot of the bones were uh, a couple in a bag. So these are two bags with a lot of bones in them. I'm just thinking through because it looks different for me. So storage wise, well, a couple things. I could actually rebag these because I was thinking of like individual bags for my door. I think I will do that because this is big, 15 pounds of bones. And uh, I got two of these in here. So. Yeah, yeah, will we separate them? That is like a socket of a leg, isn't that? Okay, anyway, I'll fool with it. We'll, we'll make it work. Okay, I haven't gotten too far with this. I had some just kiddos and various things. Yeah, ma mama work, mama, mama needed to do stuff. Anyway, I'm back now. And uh, these different fire roasted vegetable blends 
I got from Costco. Love them. We already chowed down on the, uh, what was it? It was like Brussels sprouts and bacon. It was fantastic. That was in like four packs in one of these big bags. This is just loose in here. So anyway, I'm going to cook these up. You could do it in the microwave. You have 64 ounces. And uh, it's got Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, peppers, onion, flame roasted, yada yada. So this will be our side item for those who want it uh, to go with the pizza casserole. And this is just what I'm eating now. And that's also been a winner from Costco. So again, this will not be a favorite side item of everyone, but those who like it, let me guess I'll do the rest of the bag. Okay. Yep, okay, just microwave it. Here we go. I had to read my directions again. And I guess my sweet potatoes that I thought was I was doing way earlier today. Those will be for tomorrow as well. Alrighty, so here is a look at dinner. We're gonna have this now and make plates, yay. Alrighty, so I divided the two big bags, the 30 pounds total of the beef bones down into nine bags. And so it's got, we'll say, two bone hunk sections. How's that for technical terms in each bag? Or this one's just one, but it's a rather large piece. Um, enough for me to get them in these gallon Ziploc bags. So I will use one of these bags when I, uh, each time I get to make it a bunch of bone broth. So yay, bone broth. Alrighty, so this freezer has some room in it. There's a bunch of freezer meals I just did recently. Frozen vegetables in there. Some, uh, what I call emergency Eggo waffles. One bag of chicken. I need that for some recipes I'm filming tomorrow. Down here, just kind of some convenience. I call them dad food. <laughs> like the chicken patties and hot pockets. I think there's some pizzas in there. One little box of egg rolls. So anyway, lots of room. I'd like to fill that up, but that's what we're working with now. In the store here, lots of mixed vegetables. And then also the, um, I almost said salt and pepper. These, uh pepper and onion blend packs are helpful with cooking. So, in these two doors here is where two shelves, so I'm hoping to get the bones for our bone broth put. Not lose any of my camera stuff out here in the snow. Hopefully, will you fit? Okay. That's good. Nice cooperative bags of bones. Some of these are smaller, like this, just two small pieces, but those, that'll be usable and fine as well. Let's see, please. Is my goose making a noise? Okay. I just have one more, but this is a pretty big pack. Yes, I'm gonna have to put this up higher. Good morning, it's a new day, new head wrap, new whiteboard time. Got some hard boiled eggs going in the pot here for the kids. I need to turn my fan on if you see uh, smoke and steam arising. So anyway, let me get the fan on, let me work on this whiteboard and then we'll do other food things here in a minute.
All right, so right now while I'm waiting for breakfast to finish up, I'm going to, uh, sorry, got headless jammerel. I'm going to bag up. I've got just several bunches of dark bananas here and then hopefully get the sweet potatoes in the slow cooker because we've needed a bunch of sweet potatoes. And then we will jump into our day. normally have this many bags of bananas to bag up but it happens sometimes I was gone on a trip for six or seven days and Travis and the kids ate a lot of oranges and grapefruit while I was gone that became their fruit of choice and when I came home these bananas were just like hey we were forgotten so oranges and grapefruit one and these will be banana bread and other baking in the future and smoothies and all that good stuff Now I forgot, <laughs> we had a bunch of snow the other week. Supposed to get more snow uh, between tonight and tomorrow, like up to another three inches. But the other week, I think we ended up with nine inches, but we could have gotten 12 to 16. So we have several things in place in case of a power outage. But just an idea came through my mind, hey, you know what, I'm also gonna fill the slow cookers with water. Well, I forgot about that. And so now I'm dumping all this water out of these slow cookers. Okay, so that's just me wanting to explain why JMRL's pouring all this water out. Uh, I might end up getting my third slow cooker going here. I just spray them, dump the potatoes in. It ends up being like two or three hours on high. Then we have sweet potatoes. Most of our family loves them. Great, we will have them for lunch and then for dinner tonight, there'll be a side item. And I don't even know, what were these, five pound bags? We might have leftovers for a day or two. Um, people will continue to get a sweet potato for various things, but that's it. These three big bags will not last long. Mm. 
Yes, yeah, so that's Lowe's. Go tell Daddy they're here. We're having uh, doors, our front doors, and seven windows delivered for the garage today at Lowe's. So that's the excitement going on in the background. Travis is going to go talk to them. Okay, three slow cookers and a whole lot of sweet potatoes. So before I peel everyone's eggs, I'm going to get my breakfast in the microwave. And so this is, it's um, one of the Trim Healthy Mama recipes. It's called uh, Cowboy Hash. And it's supposed to, it reminded me a lot of, of many of the ingredients I put in tacos. But uh, I made it the other night and I ended up like for the family, I did nachos with it. And then I ate it with those blue corn chips. Anyway, the rice was supposed to be mixed in. I forgot that step. Um, also, at some point, I added butter to the rice. So all I'm telling you is I'm going to put some rice in this bowl, some of the cowboy hash, and then this is what is left from the vegetables of last night, a good bit of that, and um, mix it all together. It'll actually be a crossover. The cowboy hash in and of itself, if you do THM, is considered an e-meal, which is lower fat and like medium healthy carbs. Uh, but because it has the butter in it, it'll be a crossover where you're burning both fuels. If that confuses you, you can go to TrimHealthyMama.com, learn all about it. But that's what I'm eating for breakfast. Yes and amen. Okay. And I'm eating this for breakfast, uh, just helping eat up the leftovers and sounds good to me. Yay. Alrighty. So, I got kids doing schoolwork, got their lessons and assignments going. I'm going to, after I put this trash bag in, going to go in my room, and Tobin is sleeping right now. So anyway, I've mentioned many times about uh, Tobin and just, you know, going through all his clothes. So what I've been needing to do is to just pack up everything that's 12 months and under. He's not gonna have a bunch left. I've been slowly getting him 18 month things. He'll be a year in March. So all that to say, he's napping, kids are doing school i've got a bag i'm gonna load up his two small stuff that he's busting out of and then we will continue on with our day yay Alrighty, so now we're jumping to dinner time here. I did two low carb casseroles from my one for now, one for later pack. I'll show you those in a minute. Also, we got some green beans and there's some of the sweet potatoes from earlier. We also had those for lunch. So this is the King Ranch casserole and this is the chicken parm casserole. And I went ahead and did both because you know me, I cook for leftovers and by doing two, we might actually have some leftover, or we might not. <laughs> we shall see. Morning, friends. So I have been absolutely obsessed with making omelets lately. <laughs> so 
Uh, yes, all the omelets all the time, and they are, look at this, it's just, I'm so proud of my omelets. Look at that, it's a cheese omelet. We got some bacon going as well, and at least with this pan on this stove, I use three eggs in my omelet. I have to do it on medium heat. Uh, then once I'm able to get around the edges, I put two pieces of cheese in there, flip it over. That's as far as I've been doing omelets lately. Now on the new stove with more burners and the griddle and more options, we'll see where our omelet adventures go. But this is how I'm doing it right now. Yay! So uh, it's Saturday, Saturday here at Jamboree Land, and I just had an easy breezy morning. This is more of like a brunch. Many of the kids have already eaten uh, fed for yourself breakfast, but then I had some kids requesting some eggs. I was doing cheese omelets for four of us, and then Daniel and Benjamin, who have already eaten, now wanted scrambled eggs, so I made them some scrambled eggs. And the bacon's ready, so we'll have some folks have a bacon. So anyway, this is an unorganized, real life, Saturday morning, cut a breakfast, cut a lunch, cut a brunch. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, okay, okay, food, yay. I've just had several situations lately where I've needed all my crock pots out. So I've got two here, another one over here, but it's another uh, mama needs to clean the countertop situation. I was up late last night. So in this footage that you're watching, you just saw breakfast before this, and that was actually yesterday. Ha uh -huh. So I skipped out showing you all lunch and dinner yesterday because I was busy doing a lot of filming for the large family table membership community that I host. Anyway, filming for them all day, and I had a live call with them last evening. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so happy new day. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then today's breakfast was exactly yesterday's breakfast. We did omelets again and bacon, so yum. So yesterday, in all my cooking, I ended up doing, let's see, in my video I did six freezer meals, and I also, one of the freezer meals I made more of, to get dinner for my family last night, but then my live call ran long. So Travis and the kids ended up doing something else for dinner, which means in one way, I don't have to cook today. <laughs> it was steak fajita bowls. So you have the steak and the onions and the peppers and everything. I actually did that in the Instant Pot and then you serve it over cauli rice or brown rice. So we have that. But today, the, the, again, the life of Jim Morrell, I need to do another video where I'm going to do four freezer meals total. It's two recipes, the one for now, one for later. But with that, with that, uh, one of them, I think I'm still going to fully cook and do the whole process with one of the nine by 13 pans. And that will give us lots of good variety and lunch and dinner. Uh, also today, I'm gonna film for you guys here on YouTube, uh, everything's falling apart 
update with our garage. There is a happy ending, but still need to film that update. So the last two days have been mama work days, doing all the things, but before I get filming, another filming and cooking today, gotta, gotta degrub this kitchen. So ha happens when, when I use my kitchen a lot, right? And I still really like, you know, this, uh, pressed metal look backsplash was my hopes and dreams. I've wanted that for, oh, probably 15 years or so. And whenever we got this house, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have that done on the backsplash. Someone asked me how it holds up, especially around the sink. It's just plastic. It's plastic sheets that uh, we got at Lowe's and had our painter folks, they put those up for me whenever they uh, came through and did a fresh coat of paint on this house when we moved in. So I don't know about in the new kitchen, um, a cousin of mine in Santa Barbara, she's got beautiful pictures up. She just did a white kitchen and then the white subway tile. So I was talking to her about that, still thinking about doing um, some kind of really fun and funky tile behind the stove, uh, which you know now I'm going with a different stove situation and it's a, a fun and funky stove itself. But I also thought today, I was like, hmm, what if I just do my pressed metal looking look behind the stove? It is inexpensive to do. If I decide on tile later, we could do that. I don't know. Jury is still out on tile and what's going on there, but we'll get there. So there's my, uh, also my, oh, my kitchen thoughts. Yeah. This poor slow cooker has seen better days. Instant Pot was used twice yesterday. It needs scrubbed off. Come on, bottle of vinegar spray. You can make it through. Mr. Crumbs, I guess I could have done those over the chicken bowl. Hmm. Didn't think of that until this moment, so that's not helpful. Okay. Someone just asked me again the other day if I ever add any essential oils or anything else when I do this easy homemade vinegar cleaning spray and I don't. It's only that much vinegar and the rest is water. So it's enough to cut off the grime, but uh, it doesn't smell strongly of vinegar. We still got snow outside. Nothing new with that this year in Virginia. freezer meal video. No wait, my poor little, it's the little things sign. That's a bunch of grime on it. Spray this directly on there. It says enjoy the little things. Cute little mama hand and her chicks. put it so keep it back here for now all right friends so oh, my metal pans are a little crunched up there that's okay I need it basically I did these <laughs> I did this yay kind of like having a baby I grew this human I made these freezer meals so I'm gonna carry these out now get them in the freezer 
these I videoed for my membership friends. And then after that, I'm filming YouTube, a garage update video. But yay, here we go. Mom, mama's hustling and getting things done. My nemesis, I saw where one of the uh, railings, whatever you want to call these, to one of the freezers was laying in the garage on a box, and I thought, hmm. So, just found where that goes, and I'm gonna put it in. Every little drawer and shelf helps. Good morning, friends. I am getting crud off the side of my collagen. Uh, and then there's some cashews that relate to none of this, but I'm doing my coffee. It is coffee o'clock time. This is the collagen that I've recently been putting in my coffee. I also like the Trim Healthy Mama brand, and there's some other good ones out there, but there were big tubs of this at Sam's Club. And so I got some of this there. So I'm gonna put in the vital proteins and some liquid stevia, and then I've been using a Nut Pods creamer. Sometimes add a little coconut oil, sometimes not, but this is what's going in my coffee this morning. So good morning, it's a Monday here and... I need to go down. No, you stay here, you need to get your stuff changed. Getting folks out of pajamas, getting the day rolling. Out in the driveway, there's a bunch of trucks and a construction trailer and the new builders are here and things are happening. It is finally go time on the garage to kitchen, I think, to I think it's official. Are yes, uh, so. Anyway, so anyway, uh, let's get this day a rolling. Today I've got a phone call in a little over an hour. That's going to take an hour. We also, I have some fillings this afternoon because Joy of All Joys, I think it's mainly 2021. I was on like five or six different antibiotics and I was pregnant. And so I actually have a couple small cavities and I've never had cavities before I had well I take that back I had one wisdom tooth that also right after I had a baby during a pregnancy just went real bad and I had those removed anyway my full dental history I actually have to get a couple little fillings I've never had a filling before so that will be this afternoon um, they're using composite fillings not metal fillings anyway so that'll be this afternoon and my goal for today is I uh, have some reading I want to do with the kids. We have some closet pickup and freshening up slash organizing. Got a bunch of laundry I want to take some time to get caught up on. And then just run a list of to do. So yay, Monday. So Liam's just got the, the biscuits all on one pan. We're gonna get those in. And now we are gonna do fried eggs. Old griddle still works. Alrighty, so we've got, I just put the fried eggs in one of these glass dishes with a lid. And then a kiddo chopped the strawberries. And then we also have a pan of biscuits. I have biscuits. Yay. Okay, so I had my phone call. 
Then I had to do just a bunch of administrative work. So anyway, flying by the seat of our pants, gonna get to the dentist on time. I'm hungry, so I'm assuming everyone else is hungry. So we're gonna have a snacky lunch on the go. I have these gluten-free graham crackers that I bought uh, for when we were doing, or I thought we were gonna do the gingerbread houses thing for homeschool group, okay? Some leftover veggie straws, bananas, <laughs> some pork rinds, some trail mix. I'm also gonna grab a pack of just turkey deli lunch meat and a pack of cheese. And there you go, homemade Lunchables. Uh, charcuterie on the go in the van in a plastic cup, yeah. Okay, so mama survived the dentist, but I feel like I was uh, hung upside down for over an hour. Just a whole lot of carrying on with that. Then Travis had a card back at practice appointment and then we ended up eating Chinese food out because I was like, I'm done for the day. I am done, done. But we are home and let me show you what happened in the garage today that's brand new? So today is the first day that the new builders have been here working. There was still nothing done uh, officially until they started today. So here is how far, we've got the goose in the background. This is how far they got. They left one of their, tra they got two trailers here and that's our pod. That's the start of the floor. But we are, it looks like they started framing outside the doors. And yeah, doing things, doing things, it's official. Okay friends, so, hold on, coffee. Mm -hmm. This could be the large family meals of the week where I fail you. That could even be our video title. Somebody write that down for me. So, was really thinking I'd be able to show y'all lots of meals. And the last couple days have not turned out that way. So I did share my just long drawn out dental experience on Monday and then we had another appointment. I know I'm repeating something I already recorded, but you know, if you know, you know, <laughs> if you're new here, this will be new. But if you're around a lot, you know, this is what JML does. We had another appointment. We were out late and we do usually eat out. I don't know, two to three times a month. And I just thought, Chinese buffet, it's been a few weeks. And by the time we get home at 7.30, I don't wanna do no dinner. <laughs> so, we did the Chinese food. I had to just go through the footage myself to remind myself where we were, right? If you don't know it yet, by the way, we have this huge family trip we're getting ready to take. So be on the lookout for that. And we have a, a kiddo's birthday who's gonna be during that time. And so if we are on a trip, we can do birthday things on the trip. But this kiddo wanted to go out and do their own shopping and have their ears pierced, it's Amelia, and uh, do some special local things. So even though we're a few days early, we spent all day out yesterday doing all that fun birthday before the birthday celebrating. Got home last night and looks like all the floor joists are done. I mean, I don't know if they're done done, but like there's rows, the rows are there. So I'll show you that coming up, what they did yesterday, and then they're already like three quarters of the way done with their work day today. So stay tuned, more garage updates in this food video. And then today, where is today? What has even happened? Well, today's our day to pack and get ready. Like we have planned this day on the calendar. It's the day to do this. I don't think I will be doing much packing until a little later today. I have some mama laptop work stuff that I need to get done, uh, files that I need to make sure upload correctly to my editor, and projects I need to just, things I gotta do while I know my internet is doing well uh, because I'm home. It can be sketchy when I'm out and about. So just trying to do like prep, as much prep ahead as I can. Then for the rest of the day, what are we doing? Um, I'm probably gonna do something like chicken nuggets for dinner, like from the freezer. Just, yeah, nuggets and we're leaving in the morning. So anyway, got a sponsored video to get up now. Mama work to do. Mm -hmm. Then I, I wanna do our calendar for the upcoming month before we go. Um, we're gonna have house sitters and animal sitters and all that. There's stuff to get ready for that. Um, Lowe's called again today wanting to deliver stuff and I was like, are we still good on waiting? <laughs> so they're still good on waiting. He's like, oh, that's fine. I'm doing my, my uh, Lowe's voice. Oh, that's fine. I'll call you back around February 18th and we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll try again. So there you go. There's a little bit of my 
low schedule or impersonation. He's very friendly and very uh, accommodating to hold my stuff. So got that pushed off for a little bit. All right, Mama's going to work now, but just letting you know where I've been, what I've been doing, and why I haven't been filming three meals a day because... Flying by the seat of our pants ended up being Monday. Yesterday we were out all day. Today we're getting ready to go. I ate some leftovers about lunchtime. <laughs> That's all I've eaten so far. On the second cup of coffee, Travis and kids are doing like property prep stuff. Him and two of the boys have taken trash. Uh, we don't have trash pickup around these here parts, so they take it. They're doing some stuff outside. Naomi is helping me get a few things um, like out and ready. I'm having Amelia pack her clothes, but basically fold them and put them in stacks on the table and I'll be looking at them. Um, I'm not going to pack a bunch of kitchen stuff. Um, I know I did that when we went to the beach for two weeks in May, our, our first vacation in a very long time there. I took so much stuff because I knew the kitchen would have some things, but I also knew we were gonna be there for two full weeks. And we had the time and we had the room in our van. I just wanted to have what we needed. Um, this time, well, that's what I need to do. I need to pick our menu. I have so many meal plans and meal packs and great things that are already done. I was thinking about just looking at one of my slow cooker meal plans and picking one week and the one week grocery shopping list that goes with that week. And then when we get there, doing like an Instacart delivery or um, Walmart grocery pickup or something like that. And having what we need and dinners are done pretty much I mean besides doing them this place is far enough away that like we need to stop at a hotel in the middle of the trip there and then finish getting there the next day so it's not something where I'm gonna put uh, 10 freezer meals in the cooler on a bunch of ice packs and stuff but we do have another adventure we're gonna do tomorrow okay I'm gonna work later we need to get a bunch of breast milk out of my downstairs freezer and I'll tell you why. Okay. Oh my. So I've come out from my working chambers. <laughs> that is so cute. I love them. This is uh, from the, the birthday collection. Uh-huh. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So if this is not like the, the face of a working mom, um, <laughs> so I'm heating up some macaroni and uh, let me show you the progress in this garage I came out here to look just to like look what I was filming before I got here I was kind of startled because there's some stuff in front of me and it's like nine o'clock at night now but well, of course they're not still here anyway okay let, let's look at this so I did not show you yesterday day before when I showed you um, the floor joists weren't done. So now the floor joists are done and they've started framing the front. I need to get my phone and take pictures. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here, look at that. How amazing is this? So we have, we have tools and things around, but we have, hi kitties. We have our kitty supervisors. And oh, I'm just stepping in sawdust in my bare feet. Don't do this. Anyway, look at that, framing stuff out. Uh, one mistake that we found that we did the other day, our builder was like, why, why didn't you get the tempered glass window? So here it'll be two glass doors, then a big window, and then he's doing a whole row of windows there and making them look like they're one window. Anyway, by our building codes at least, uh, if you have a window that's like so many feet off the ground and close to a door, and I forget the other parameters, but it has to be tempered glass. And this window that Travis and I bought is not. Travis called Lowe's, he has one ordered, it'll be here in April or sooner. But uh, yeah, at least we're getting it. Anyway, I can't remember the other details with that, there must be some more. But here we go, walking on the kitchen floor. Lots of things happening. You can come inside with me, kitty cat. Okay, let's go. Yes, it's inside time. Oh boy. All right, so I need to uh, go down to the basement to get a bag to put all the younger boys' stuff in 
for the trip also. So I was telling you um, over on the Fry Life, Mary and Peter, and what is their dog's name? Is it Ollie? I can't remember their dog's name, but they have a new little baby that they've adopted named Elijah. And Mary is doing adoptive breastfeeding with him. And they've been using donated breast milk. Well, I have a stash of breast milk from when I had the one kidney surgery this summer, but we were preparing for it would be two. It's actually breast milk that was donated to me by a trusted friend and we've used it several times with Tobe, especially during my healing time and just there were times that we needed it. Anyway, I have a stash, I think it's 20 to 30 bags of breast milk and they're like four to six ounces each. And on our trip tomorrow, we are going to meet Mary and Peter, maybe, or one of them, or some of them. We lean against this wall and hand off this breast milk stash. I'm gonna take it on ice, but I've got to, it's under all my new ground beef, because <laughs> whenever I loaded the ground beef the other week, it was in a box, and I thought, I'll just lay this flat on the bottom of this freezer. This is an old freezer that someone that Travis used to work with was offloading. I don't know if it was a year ago now or not in the timeline. They were offloading it, and we got it for like a hundred dollars and it still worked for them and it's still been working for us it's just like a big old chest freezer i don't know if it's 30 years old or not but anyway let's dig the breast milk out of it and here's a look at our animal feed room travis and the kids recently got these shelves in here and they're bolted to the wall we have a collection of animal food we had the um, metal trash cans in here for a while and we just haven't used them uh, consistently in the last year or so and we have not had mice and such get into our food it's probably because of our cat population uh, but anyway so travis wanted to move to getting things organized up on shelves we got our shelves over there uh, but anyway here's a another room in the basement this is under our back porch or deck or whatever um, so that's why it's got like the concrete roof and eventually on the list we're going to put a door here we just haven't done that yet okay this freezer always looks bigger in my mind than it is like I'm looking at it now I'm like okay this is not this is not huge <laughs> but anyway it is old and it does still work and I also still have my um those are like seven cubic feet freezers so basically I don't know I probably have the equivalent of like four big freezers in my life I have two 20 22 cubic feet uh full freezers that of course are on my front porch right now um those i love okay and then i wanted to get a third one for when we processed a bunch of meat birds and such in 2020 i could not buy a third full one then these three end up being the 21 cubic feet and so those have things in them as well i feed a lot of people do a lot of recipes yay and then this old thing came to us a little later and anyway okay so there's all the ground beef from the half a cow i think i was telling you that i've been filming this video for days <laughs> so i only bought um half a cow and oh i'm gonna have to really dig this out and i think you're gonna see most of it now while i dig out this breast milk so in these smaller ones i have things like um i have vegetables all in one and then i have different meats in these two but no ground beef so ground beef is over here and you know what? I feel normal now that there's more uh, large family cooking happening over on TikTok because several of the families over there, like one, um, I forget her name right now, but she has eight kids, but many of them are teenagers and they have a meat, ref they have like a freezer for their cow, a freezer for pork, a freezer for fruits and vegetables, and like I think a freezer for baked goods. And I'm like, okay, see, these are my people. <laughs> Freezers for everything. So what I was hoping to do is pass these seven cubic feet freezers on. I have um, two different families I've talked to. And then when I get to have my, maybe my dream laundry room, I'd like, still like to get an upright freezer that used to not be available there for a little bit. Sorry, this is really cold. I unpacked this third box of ground beef around these two. 
anyway, if I'm able to get the third upright freezer and have like a freezer area in my laundry room, I have some people that I could bless with these seven cubic feet freezers that don't even, you know, they don't have extra freezer space right now. So that would be good for them and good for me. And this old one I'm just gonna use until it goes to be with Jesus, hopefully not too soon. Uh, ah, sorry, really weird angle. Oh. Okay. So total it was a hundred, I think I believe it was like 134 pounds of ground beef. And I do have some other ground beef I'm using up before I get to this. And then we had um, a lot of different like steak cuts and things. They're starting to get the breast milk. Okay. Are you under there? There's the oxtail. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, there's the meat cuts. I'm gonna have to put my camera back down to get to the breast milk, but we're almost there. So I had it organized. I had different roast and different steak cuts. And then I had two boxes of ground beef and the third box packed around those. Let me warm up my hands here. This is pretty serious. Oh yes, there's all the bread milk. Okay. Okay. And so yes, this is the complaint that people have about these chest freezers is, I mean, you can organize them with different baskets and such. I'm used to mine with the doors that open. <laughs> See, these are like little bricks of gold. My friend who gave me this stash, I traded her for uh, meat. I had pork roast and such. So we did a meat and breast milk swap. I'm going to get all this out and I'm still gonna keep it frozen. I'm gonna pack it on ice in the morning. Probably text Mary a picture of it. Whew. You haven't watched their channel, although I'm sure you have. Mary has cystic fibrosis. So they share their journey with that and with their service dog. I sure hope it's at least 20. I told her it was 20 to 30. Since they're spread out now, I'm uh, just giving you another look at the, the cuts. I know years ago when I bought a whole cow, I did a whole haul video, and I just didn't do that this time. But we got ribeye, we got sirloin, we got uh, probably eight or ten different roasts. I feel like a lot of good selection and good meat for a half a cow. gonna put my hamburger boxes back on top of it and uh, and then repack that ground beef around them that's that's my little system for now all right so there's all the gold I'm gonna count how many bags we have okay <laughs> Forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven. 45, 46, 47. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh good, I'm so glad I'm gonna under promise and over deliver. So we have 47 bags of frozen breast milk and I was telling her I thought it was 20 to 30. So exciting. It's a coincidence that I found this little lunch bag. This is actually, look at all this YouTube crisscross. This is a bunches of lunches. Um, lunch bag from the family fudge. 
<clears throat> I am uh, just packing them in these bags so I can get them and put them in a bigger cooler tomorrow. I just texted Mary a picture. I'm so glad it worked out because when I saw she was doing the adoptive breastfeeding and I knew I had a breast milk stash down here, I thought, oh, I would love to ship that to her. And then when she mentioned to me where she lived and asked if I if I was near there, I'm like, um, I don't live near there. I'm about four hours away, but guess what? We're getting ready to drive right by your exit. So she has to drive an hour from, from where she lives to where she's going to meet us. And for us, it'll just be right on the way. It would have added two hours to our trip if we had to get off and go meet her in her town. Um, and Travis is already driving a bunch with a bunch of people. So I was trying to, was trying to make it work and it's worked out perfect. So I am so glad that a sweet little baby is going to get to enjoy this milk. It's kind of like how I feel about baby clothes and other things. I hate to hold on to things for too long if there's a baby that could use it now okay one more here we go okay so there you go there's my little walmart bag then we got our little bunches of lunches cooler okay so there we go 47 bags of breast milk yay coming to baby elijah well, now how are we gonna how are we gonna fit you just need to fit for one night let's see will you do it yes nice old freezer is cooperating nice heavy lid it's a whirlpool like the old type where they used to have the key on it so i don't know how to tell how old it is exactly other than it's working and it was in travis's friend's basement still working uh, until they needed to make room in their basement so there you go it's working for now i need to stop saying things like it's working for now it is working for a real long time a nice long time Right? Positive confession, J. Rowe. And there's, I don't know if I ever showed you, but we're down here. That's uh, the kids, the kids pony saddle. So, okay, upstairs now, back to packing. So here's the boys' clothes all out. I gotta pack this up until we're going someplace warm. And there you go, kids have started to set things here. Again, today was supposed to be my packing pull together day. This is Amelia's um, <laughs> emergency bag of toys and her backpack so basically from Amelia on up everyone else can pack and get themselves ready so uh, even though I've been going around being a working mama today pulling stuff on my laptop together doing my mama work things um, I at least have piles of clothes here for the younger boy so I can get those packed real quick and we're doing stuff 